Right guys, I'm going to make a movie on how to make a pie chart very briefly. So what we're going to do is, I've got some figures here. I've made the legend, or whatever it's called, 6025. So this one is going to be a pie chart, and this one's going to be a bar graph. So in Illustrator, we've got it set up. I know vaguely that it's about 8 centimeters wide. In the pie chart section, which is here, hold down this one, I want a pie graph tool. So click on that, click once say 60 millimeters wide by 80 high and just go OK. That will give me just a pie chart straight up and what I want to do is move it out the way so I can see. These are my figures here that have come from Word or Excel or anything. So this one, electricity bought 60%. This automatically opens. So this one is 60. Tab across to the next one down here which is 20. 20. Next one is 5. Next one is 15 and hit the tick and there's your pie chart done it's really really easy close that so all that is is this is where your figures come from so if i want one in there 56 tick it'll just keep putting them in but i don't want one in there so i'm going to take that guy out that's my pie chart done so close that one i want it to look the same colors as my legend down the bottom so what i might do is select the whole thing select the pie chart take all the so it's got no outlines now. I'm just going to use my eyedropper now. So I for eyedropper. That one, the big one, is 60. This one is that one. So you literally go through with the direct selection tool. I drop that. Last one. This one, I drop that. And we're done. Okay, this guy sits in here. And it's I don't want it to really look like that. So I'm going to get a circle now. From here, a perfect circle. I'm going to move that across to here. Put that bad boy there. Make him white. And that's my graph. Done. Looks wonderful. Make that a little bit smaller. Done. That's my thing done. Next one is a bar chart. Same principle. It's very, very easy. This time, there's all different ones in there, but I want a column graph tool. So I click on that, click once, 60 by 80 is good enough. That'll put the thing in here, right? I've got my figures. It goes over the top of my figures, but I don't know that. So I put them over here. Same thing, 60, 85, 65. So this one, so 60, tab, 85, tab, 65, 52, and 90. Hit tick. There, it's all good. There's my pie chart. There's my pie chart done. There's my pie, someone's at the door. Quality work here. There's my pie chart done. So what I want to do now is tick that for OK, and I want to change the figures down the side of it. OK, so I click off of that. If I right click on that, no I don't, close this guy. If I click on this, I want type now or data. So if I want data, which is that one, I want type. OK, so type. We're talking about value axis, which is, I want to change this down the side. So if I change this, divisions of 4, and go OK, that's it. So that's changed, that's right. I've got my colours here, same deal. So the first one is that one. So literally go through all of these to change the colours. And that guy sits in there. And that's it, so I can save that. I can use that wherever I want now. Okay, that's it. All done. Cheers.